What's up everybody, it is the Gold 60 here for Saturday, June the 30th, 2018. So yesterday we had six total official plays. Those six did go five and one, so it was a very good day for us. Unofficials had a good day as well, and I'll jump into all that right after this intro. So as I said before, we did go five and one yesterday with official plays. So let's go over to those five that won, and then we'll talk about the one that's going up today as a beat bet. So the first game we had yesterday was the Cubs, and they were going up against the Twins. So as you know from this week, we had the Twins, and they just seemed to couldn't get a hit, couldn't get any runs, and that went on from Tuesday to Thursday, all three games. They finally got a win in the C bet on Thursday. For whatever happened Thursday night, they woke up the next day on Friday and was ready to play. Of course, we were on the other side. So they came out and absolutely started hitting the ball great. They were up 5-2 to two after the fourth inning against us, and it wasn't looking too good. But then the Cubs woke up, and they put up eight runs and only gave up one more run during that stretch. So we actually won the game 10-6 to six to get our first win of the day. And then we started into a lot of – we had a lot of games – all at one time. I believe we have four going on at the same time. The first one of those was the Rangers, and the Rangers come out ready to play. They were up 10 to nothing after three innings. So they came out ready to swing, and they just kind of cruised the rest of the day. Got the 11 to three victory over the White Sox. After that, we had an underdog play with Oakland against the Indians. Now that we had the run line, and also the run line was such a underdog that it was minus 105 or even or even money, either way you looked at it, they come out and got the win 3-1 to one over the Indians. Now that game for Oakland was their fifth straight win, and they also, I will say this about the game that we had, they had a, a great consistent game. They had eight hits with three runs to only six hits and one run for the Indians, and those run, runs came in the second, the sixth, and the eighth. So they had a consistent day where they were just, you know, it wasn't like an up and down game. They just kind of had a good day and moved on. Next, we had the Braves, and they were an underdog play as well. Now, they were a little bit you know, closer as far as being an underdog, so the run line price was up around minus 155. And this was a very tight game all the way through the sixth inning. We went through two-thirds of the game with no runs for either team. It was 0-0. Zero to zero. And then, for luckily for us, the Braves got it going and scored a run, at least one run, in each of the last three innings, the seventh, eighth, and ninth. They only gave up one run and ended up winning the game 5-1. to one. So we move on from that. And the last win we had was on a revenge play, and it was with the Pirates. Now, this line didn't come out until around lunch, maybe a little bit before. And I did tweet that out, and it was around a pick em. You may have got a little bit better price some places. You may have got a little bit worse price. But either way, you weren't going to wasn't going to spend a lot of money on this. It was right around that pick em price, and which is really good. And so our side was the side to take. They did come out and score six runs in the first four innings, and then they kind of cruised, and they gave up three runs in the eighth and ninth late in the game, but still got the win six to three. So that was all five of our wins. Now let's talk about the one official play that's actually going today, and that was with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now this game was a very low-scoring game. They came out and gave up a run, I believe, in the second inning to San Diego, or excuse me, San, San Francisco, and the Giants actually held that lead all the way to like the sixth inning where we got a run to tie it up one-to-one, -one. and then the very next inning the Giants scored another run to go up two-to-one, and that's how it finished. So today the Diamondbacks looks, look to bounce back, and we are getting a good price today. It's right above Pick'em. It's my, around the minus 120 area. You know, you may get minus 115 or even minus 110 some places. But it, I'm going to call it minus 120 because that's what I've seen it right before the video. So hopefully they can get it done today. We are looking to win 2.49 units from yesterday. And if they get that done, we've... We will go 6-0 and this weekend with our official plays and have a really good Sunday where we just get to watch baseball all day and not really have anything, you know, to be nervous about and know that we can count our cash from what we did all this weekend. So looking for that win today with the Diamondbacks would be really good for us. Now I'll talk about the unofficial plays. So now that we've talked about all the official plays, let's talk about the unofficial plays. So the first one I'll talk about is that weird four-game series that started up yesterday and is going through Monday, and that is the Blue Jays and Tigers. 
the Blue Jays were the play here at minus 178 if you would have looked at that. And they did get the win uh, three to two. So that did cash in its A bet. The other two were three game series. The first one was Seattle against the uh, Royals. The Mariners were a minus 210 favorite in that game and they did get the four to one win. Now the last game did lose, it was the Mets. But just a quick point on that, yesterday was kind of weird. It was minus 167, but mainly because of DeGrom. They, he was going up for pitching, or he was up to pitch for the Mets. He had a personal reason that took him out of that game. He did not get to start. And so I will say this. So beside the teams, when you go to place a wager, especially if you're doing it online or on an app in Vegas or anything like that, you will see the pitcher listed with the check mark beside it. If you don't know, which I'm sure a lot of you know at least by now, but if you don't, that is that pitcher has to start for that wager to be official. Since he got scratched, if you had that wager in before he got scratched, that should have been a canceled out, you know, situation. You, it just wasn't a play. But just keep that in mind in the future. If you don't care about who's pitching, you just uncheck that, and it would have went through either way. If you do care about who's pitching, you leave that checked. I think it's on there by default. It may not be. You may want to check it, you know, before you put it in. But that's just a some advice from a past, you know, something I'd seen a while back. And it doesn't happen very often, but like yesterday, I don't know what the line was after he got scratched, but I can imagine that it definitely went down. He will be back up today, and they don't have a line out for it. And so I feel like that 167 probably went down quite a bit with a, uh, another pitcher having to step in. But either way, it was an unofficial play, so a lot of you are not paying attention to those, and so it doesn't bother, affect you in any way. But I just want to tell you about that with the listed pitchers, and you know if it's checkmarked and they don't start, that is a canceled out wager. So don't be surprised if you, you know, if you thought you still had the game and you get on there this morning and you didn't. Um, that's just kind of a safe way because there is so much in baseball, a lot of handicappers, handicap pitchers. That is their number one go-to on, you know, whether to take a team or not. With our systems, you don't, we don't really look at that for say, unless it is a pitcher to knock us out of taking that play. And that is if a pitcher's coming up in a rotation that just we know is going to cost way too much and there's too much risk involved. So either way, that's kind of everything for the official and the unofficial. I really appreciate you watching this video. Have a great Saturday, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. 60% of the time, it works.